For the past few years, this second-hand, home-fabbed steel fire pit has served us pretty well. But it's showing its age, and it's a bit hazardous. So we're trading in this tetanus trap for something a bit more modern and safer. Smokeless fire pits seem to be all the rage, and it seems like everyone is trying to figure out how to DIY them. We watched a ton of those videos, and honestly, still really don't understand how it works, but we're gonna give it a shot. Yeah, stomp on it with your little feet. Good job, baby. <laughs> Rock and then Sam? Yeah. Okay. To create a stable base, we used a combination of sand and pea gravel. I do not recommend using pea gravel under your fire pit, as you might later read that it can explode in high heat and end up having to use your good colander to sift it all out. Under <laughs> bricks, stacks on stacks. So what do we need to do now? Make sure this is level and square, right? If you can get this square, then you can line it up with the edge. For the second layer, I used a hammer and chisel to cut a few of the bricks in half so that we could create the outer ventilation holes down near the bottom. Since this fire pit is pretty short and will be reinforced with steel, we are simply gluing the bricks in place. I don't know how much one of those electric ones are. I don't know, but I fucking need one. <laughs> Try to cut a bare hole. At one of our walls walked like an inch. <laughs> oh man. How's it look? It's good. Straighter than we are. Yep. 100%. Look. You're oh, so wow. worried about it wobbling and I'm like that shit's not wobbling. Well I was more worried about you know when there's a stack of like three in a row yeah. they'll definitely stick to each other but if they're not stuck to anything else will they tip in or out? Definitely not when we get that the tile on the outside. Okay I just concerns me with being held together by tile. Oh well, I don't because you're gonna have that metal piece too that's gonna sit on top and lock it down. Yeah. So. <laughs> I know. 23 and 3 8. 23 and 5 eighths. Oh wow, quite a range. As much as I don't want to uh, uh, tile it, I like the way it looks, I think we have to tile it. Take two inches off and be 62. 15 and 7 eighths. 15 and 3 quarters. 15 and 7 eighths. 16 and an eighth. Alright, so 15 and 3 quarters minus 2, 13 and 3 quarters. We're about 9 inches. Put another block on top that's two inches thick. Is it two inches thick? But we can bury it. So we could say 11 to be sure. It's 
Got the black lung. Yeah, the last one was actually 12 and a quarter inches. Really? Yep. And this one is 12 inches. So we're just going to make sure all the top edges are equal. Did get out of line again? There we go. Yeah, our measurements were great. Good job, honey. Thanks. Whew. Got there eventually. Speak. Something like that. Yeah, it looks like that's going to pretty much cover it once it gets in there. Yeah. You know, we'll just line it up, but. Yeah, see so if I can get it just a little bit over, and then if I need to, then I can just fill that gap under and just... Yeah, perfect. Yeah, we just need to sink her a little lower. Yeah. Okay. got about that far before the impact overheated. Two and three quarter. Say four and a quarter. Grind that little bit off, golden. You're such a good helper. Oh yeah, <laughs> like a Hogan. <laughs> yeah, 
I think one is probably enough. We'll see. Way higher. Yep. There's some rocks around. Come toward me. Out of this corner. Please go that way. Just uh, to twist a little bit. Yeah. Oh yeah, this corner is real high. Yeah. Okay. Hot chili pepper on it, so. Nice. We'll see how it goes. Yeah? Yeah. A little heat is always a good idea. some fibers. reason we went with that choice. Green foam float. Oh yeah, I like that finish. Me too. All right, it's gonna dry a little bit more there, but yeah. It looks I, pretty good. I dig it. Me too. Thing. I like the color. Yeah, me too. But it looks really good. Yeah, I, I'm loving like the shape of it and everything. Yeah. have a little bit of smoke but the idea is to not smell like smoke. Let's see once it really starts going. But yeah there's still quite a bit of smoke coming yeah. out. Well I guess it would be a well, cool fire pit but it doesn't work. Yeah so I think it is like reducing it. So something is definitely happening. Yeah it's like pausing. Mm -hmm. Right in there. Yeah. I guess the moment of truth would be like uh, how much we smell like smoke. Going. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's reducing it. I agree. Yeah. I mean, it's not 100%. Yeah, I would say it's definitely not 100%, but it's definitely reducing it. Mm -hmm. I feel like when it gets close to the edge, it goes straight up. Yeah. Yeah, like over here, it's happening now. Nothing is going towards you. Yeah, I've only gotten one whiff of smoke. Yeah. I don't know. But I definitely think it's less. Yeah. 
And the verdict is, it sort of works. It does seem to reduce the lateral smoke drift, keeping it more vertical, but there's definitely still smoke. I think the reason is because the structure is so short, the smoke is often equal to or even above the holes, so that airflow coming from them can't affect it as much as it should. We're not going to make the fire pit any taller because we really like how it looks. The height is just right for propping your feet up. The heat distribution is perfect and you can comfortably gaze down into the flames and just zone out. To get that flame a little lower, we probably are going to lower those racks a few inches. Unfortunately, we discovered an even bigger issue. We thought that 11 gauge steel would be able to hold up to the heat, but surprise! I think we have to do some kind of brace or something. We're definitely going to have to do a brace. Yeah. So whenever we get around to moving the rack supports down, we may add a rectangle of metal of some sort in the inner perimeter of the liner, somewhere below the holes to create sort of a skeleton. However, winter is rapidly coming to a close here in the Southwest. So those updates are just gonna have to wait until fall. For now, we're just gonna enjoy it as it is while we can.